And right now, I want to bring up two great fighters. Firstly, if we could bring up Callum Smith, WBA Ring Magazine, 168 pound number one fighter in a division. And of course, the pound for pound number one, multi-weight world champion as well. Please, Canelo Alvarez, can you join us to the stage as well? Thank you so much, gentlemen. Good mate, you. Welcome. We'll start with the champion, Callum. I've never seen anyone so relaxed in such a mega fight since I've promoted boxing. From the moment this fight was discussed, from the moment that we were negotiating the fight, from even this week in the hotel, super relaxed. Is that because you're in a great frame of mind? You know you're ready. This is your moment. Yeah, it's just I'm, it's, I'm a relaxed person anyway. I'm quite laid back, but I'm in the position I've always wanted to be ever since I was a little boy and especially since turning professional. The goal was to always reach the very top, be involved in the biggest fights possible on the biggest stage for, for the biggest prizes. And I'm here now, so I've got to just enjoy it. There's no, no bigger fight possible for me. I finally got the fight I wanted and I'm in a very good, good place mentally and physically. I feel really good and I'm ready to perform. And I'm just excited. I can't get you know, waked up or nervous or anything. Let's say I'm in a position I've always wanted to be in. Obviously, turn pro many years ago with Matrim, many that felt like you should have been in the Olympic team. You used that to really drive your success forward. I think one thing that people haven't really picked up on in this fight is I don't think you've barely lost a round mm. as a professional fighter. Obviously undefeated, uh, but you know, obviously the fight against John Ryder was the fight. You, yeah. you did lose some rounds in that fight, but yeah. before that against George Groves, against Hassan and Dam, you know, for the European Championship, against Rebras, against Rocky mm. Fielding, a, a pretty straightforward career so far to this point. Yeah, definitely, and I think that's what, you know, I always want to be a world champion and imagine there'd be a few rocky moments on the way and I, I become a world champion and still didn't really know how good I was and I don't think people knew how good I was. I kind of done it all my own way. I never really had a tough test along the way and it was more, let's say, credit to myself. I made you know, a lot of tough fights on paper easy, but I sat down and said, well, what more do I want? I've won my world title. Now I want the biggest fights possible. I want to test myself against the biggest names in the sport and... Canelo certainly is that. He, he's proven he's he's done a, you know, multiple weights. He, he's a superstar. He's pound for pound best. But I believe I, I'm good enough to compete at that level also. I've proved I'm a world-class fighter. Now I want to prove I can compete at the, the elite level. We saw the head-to-head, -head and you know, as we've seen against Rocky Fielding and Sergei Kovalev, yeah. you know, those pictures go global and everybody gasps at the size difference as well. But you bring something very different to this fight as well, don't you? You bring the power. You bring the youth, the experience as well. But you difference obviously got to make this size difference play in this fight. But you know you you look at it as an advantage. But no, you have to make it count. Yeah, I believe so. But I'm not just I'm not just a big lump with limited ability. I believe I've got skills to go with it. I don't think I believe in being in a position that I'm in now. If I didn't have no skills and ability and no tactically, I believe we've got it. We've got it spot on. And I've just got to perform and perform and do exactly what I know I can. And you know, I've watched Canelo over the years, and as a fan, I enjoy watching him. But I've always watched them, believing if that was me in there, I, I believe I can beat them. I've always felt stylistically I've got the style to do it and I've got a chance to prove it. Said to Joe as well, obviously, this is people talking about a great upset, if you like. To you, is it an upset? I mean, we know that you're number one in the division. You deserve to be here. You deserve yeah. this opportunity. But you see this much more as a 50-50 fight than some of the bookmakers. Yeah, for me, obviously, listen, I like my chances in this fight. I wouldn't call for a fight that I believe I lose. I've been, been asking for this fight because I believe I, believe I win it. I understand I'm the underdog, you know, you look at your social media, people, a lot of people don't really give me a chance in this fight, but I've been here before, I was the underdog in my world title fight, and if anything, it gives me a little bit more motivation, a little bit of a point to prove to prove my worth, and you know, I believe I deserve to be in this fight, I'm number one in the world, I, I work very hard to be in the position I'm, I'm at, and now I'm enjoying the, you know, the, the luxury of being world champion and being involved in these big fights, which, like I said before, I've dreamed of being in since I was a little boy. Obviously, you have that experience of boxing around the world. You made your debut in America a few years ago. You boxed in Saudi Arabia against George Groves. You boxed at Madison Square Garden against Hassan and Dam. You boxed in all the big arenas in the UK as well. Do you think that calmness will put you in good stead on Saturday night? I remember when we were scrambling around trying to make this fight, when yeah. Canelo said he was going to announce it on his Instagram. <laughs> I think you went to bed, but then just <laughs> turned your phone off and said to, to Sean and Joe and yeah. the team, yeah, whatever, just let me know. Yeah. Yeah, that was, it, it, the, the negotiations were, were long and, and mentally draining, but I always just wanted this fight regardless of you know, where it was in the world. I just wanted to, I wanted to be in the biggest fights possible, and this always was. The minute, the minute I knew he was going to campaign at 168, I knew I had to just keep winning and make sure the only fight that made the most sense was me, and I worked my way to number one in the division, and I finally got that fight. But I'm not here to just 
you know, be involved in a, in a superstar fight. I'm here to win. I want to I wanna remain undefeated. I want to stay world champion. You know, Ronaldo also mentioned he's still got goals to achieve in the sport. So have I. I've still got more world titles I want to win, and I believe I'll win another one this weekend. Canelo, welcome, Sal. Thank you, thank you. This is another big challenge for you. It's something that you live by in boxing. Así es, ya estamos acostumbrados a los grandes retos. Gracias a Dios tenemos este esta pelea en el 2020 que ha sido difícil para para todos. Vamos a cerrar con broche de oro con un con un gran campeón y pues estoy contento, no motivado como siempre. Yes, we are here and we're always ready for great challenges. Thank God we've been able to make this fight in 2020 and we're ready to close out the year with a big bang and close it out, you know, as a champ. These uh, surroundings are different. No MGM, grand arrival, no 80,000 people. We've seen with Anthony Joshua last week, he actually quite enjoyed being in this bubble, things being a little bit quieter, being able to focus the mind. Are you enjoying the experience? It's very different. Sí, la verdad que sí. Lo, lo sigo disfrutando al 100%. Obviamente no se ve la gente en el, en el hotel, los gritos, las banderas, pero pues es normalmente lo que hago la semana de la pelea, estar en mi cuarto lo más que se pueda, atender a los medios. Y prácticamente es lo mismo, nomás sin ver gente en el, en el hotel. Yes, it's uh, very similar. You know, it's just different where you don't see the people, you don't see the flags, you don't see everything that uh, surrounds fight week. But for the most part, it's very, very similar to what I do. I stay in my room, focused, you know, take care of uh, media, press, all of that. But it's, uh, it's very similar, you know, stay focused and just get, getting ready for what's coming. When I was talking to, to Eddie Reynoso, one thing that struck me about you and Eddie is you want the challenges. You want to fight the best, you know, and if you look at your resume in 2020, uh, sorry, in, in, uh, last year, you boxed Daniel Jacobs for the World Middleweight Championship. You moved up two divisions to fight Sergey Kovalev for the Light Heavyweight Championship. Now in your next fight, you fight the number one at 168 pounds. Is this what boxing is all about for you, to, to the big challenges and fight the best? Sí, para mí todo lo que me genere eh Obviamente un riesgo es lo que me gusta, este es un gran riesgo para mí, para mi carrera, pero también es, un, es seguir haciendo historia, ¿no? Calum Smith es el número uno en las 168 libras, queremos hacer campaña en este peso y pues qué más peleando con el, con el número uno en esa división, ¿no? Entonces me gustan los retos y estoy listo para, para seguir haciéndolo y, y, y tomar las grandes peleas. Yes, I like risk. I like taking risk. Taking this fight is a risk. We, we are, I'm fighting the number one at the 168 pounds. So these are challenges for me. And I continue to bring challenges forward. And I like the risk of it. I like challenges to continue making history. Whenever we see the head to head, you know, we saw it against Rocky Fielding. We saw it against Sergey Kovalev, see it against Cam Smith. He's a big guy, right? You know, and, and does that excite you, the fact you're facing these, these bigger men? We know you're coming up through the divisions. Sí, sin duda, no. Ya sabíamos que es un peleador muy alto, pero aparte, pues tiene muchas cualidades boxísticas también, que eso lo hace aún más completo. Pero, pues, eh, con mi experiencia en, en mi nivel, <coughs> en mi nivel tengo que adaptarme a cualquier situación y tengo la experiencia y las habilidades para poder sobrellevar esto y sé lo que tengo enfrente, pero estamos listos para esto. Yes, we do know that he's tall. We also know that he has great boxing qualities, so that makes him dangerous. But with my experience and the level of my boxing, you know, we're ready for this and to continue making history and taking risks like this. This is what I'm here for. Finally, both of you, Callum, Joe said that obviously the plan to end this fight inside the distance. Now it's hard to come away onto foreign ground and, and get that win. Is the plan to try and be explosive in this fight and try and do damage within the distance? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Obviously, I, I've got to disagree. I believe it's never going. I dominate. I win rounds well. I, I believe I get a fair, fair share at the, at the judges. But every fight, I always go in and you know, stick to the tactics. And I always find if I do land, I've got the power to hurt anyone in the world. And I know I believe I'm a good finisher. Over the years, I've always got rid of people when when I hate them. So the tactics always the same for me. I never go in, you no know, guns blazing, swinging, looking for a knockout. But you no, know, it's always there in the back of my mind. I'm always ready. I'm you know, quite spiteful when I get someone hurt. And this is exactly the same. I've got to treat Canelo Alvarez like any other fighter. Go in there. I'm a world champion. I believe in my own ability, and I believe I can beat anyone. So, a big puncher. You're a big puncher as well. Fans watching around the world on the zone this Saturday. We're going to see an explosive fight. Así es, no. Siempre salgo a dar lo mejor de mí, y pues uh, hablar ahorita aquí, pues no tiene caso, no. Siempre cuando empieza, cuando suena la campana es cuando se ve la realidad, y la verdad es que yo siempre salgo a hacer lo mejor y a ganar. Por cualquier vía, si se me presenta el knockout, lo voy a aprovechar y si no, tengo la experiencia necesaria para poder ganar con los 12 asaltos, ¿no? Pero obviamente siempre ganar por knockout es espectacular y, y pues obviamente siempre 
siempre está ahí a la puerta. Yes, that's what we're here for. This is going to be an explosive fight, a good fight, a very good fight. And if the knockout opportunity arises, then yes, I will take that because people, the fans, always like to see a fight end in a knockout. So if, it, if the opportunity arises, I will take it. Thank you, Saul and Callum and all the teams as well. This fight, the fight of the year, this Saturday, live on DAZN, do not miss it. It's been a tough year. I want to thank these guys for coming through and delivering, as I said, the best fight of 2020. The number 168 pounder in the world against the pound for pound king, Canelo Alvarez. Gentlemen, if we could have a head to head here and I'll call up both trainers as well. Sergio, let's talk a bit about the size difference that we're seeing. I understand that size isn't everything, but there is a significant size difference. You know, size is something. It's not everything, but it's something that you have to actually, you have to get on the inside of that big, long reach. You have to, and not only that, you know, Callum Smith is a technician. He's a hard puncher. He's an excellent body puncher. So not only does he have to break that range, but he has to watch out for the punches coming to the head and to the body. This is an extremely tough and big challenge for Canelo, but that's why he's the number one fighter in the world because he doesn't want to go backwards. He wants to face the absolute best to prove why he's the absolute best.